good morning everyone myself uh, uh, e bushpavalli department of english kesa college of arts and science for women and in this video we are going to talk about uh, literary criticism and the various types of criticism and various schools of criticism and let's look at the video and uh, if you look at literary criticism uh, it is nothing but it's a way of reading uh, that enhance ways of reading that enhance your understanding of the text by focusing on the particular elements or perspective and also the ways of opening up the text to uh, meanings that might otherwise uh, uh, never have occurred to you and the elements of literature uh, the literature has a both the textual and the human elements and also uh, the human element contains a both and the and the reader and these elements are the basis of the rhetorical triangle and the rhetorical triangle uh, it is the critical theories or based on the rhetorical triangle we usually and the strategies may focus on the text uh, reader and author and maybe the strategies may also uh, look at the interactions between the, uh, those three elements uh, like a text reader and author and uh, and we should understand one thing that each approach just uh, has its advantages and limitations and uh, uh, no single theory reveals the right meaning of the text and also uh, in literature we have lot of theories like the formalist theory biographical psychological historical sociological marxist feminist and the mythological reader response and deconstruct theories and uh, if you look at the formalist criticism it is focused on the actual form of the text it's a language structure and the tone and it pays attention to the instinct elements of the work uh, like a metaphor simple and character plot narrative techniques etc and it is not concerned with the author's intention and cultural text and uh, uh, next the criticism biographical criticism it explores the author's life to understand the text more fully and uh, it can enrich your appreciations of the work and also biographical criticism uh, you know the biographical information can however be misleading uh, and the complicate the text and uh, next criticism psychoanalytical criticism it draws upon the psychoanalytical theories uh, like the rodian theory freudian theories etc and to have a fuller uh, understanding of the text the writer uh, and the reader and it explores the motivations of the character and the symbolic meaning of the events and also it investigates uh, investigate the dreams and unconscious desires and the sexual uh, repressions and also the next theory the historical theory uh, usually the history as a means of understanding a literary work more clearly and also it places the text in the context of its a time in order to shed light on the some aspects of the work literature and uh, sociological criticism uh, it is also called as uh, the political criticism and also the political criticism examines uh, social groups and relationship and the values as they appear in the text and also it explores the effect of the social forces that shapes the power relationship between the groups and the classes of the people and also the next criticism marxist criticism it focuses on the ideologies of the work and its effect on the culture ecology races and the class and the power and also the marxist criticism concerned with the conditions of the working class and uh, unequal distributions of the wealth and power and it aims not only at revealing these issues but also at correcting them and uh, next the feminist criticism it is focused on representation so and the treatment of the women in literature and it explores the patriarchal forces that have impeded women's effort to achieve full uh, equality with them and uh, reader response criticism it is focus uh, uh, attentions of the reader rather than uh, the work itself and also the reader creates a meaning in the text rather than discovers it and uh, it is not concerned with the uh, what the text means on the page but with the uh, what uh, does to the reader and uh, the next theory the deconstructionist theory uh, this particular criticism insists uh, uh, that literary works do not yield fixed single meanings and there can be no absolute uh, uh, knowledge uh, about anything because language can never say exactly what we intend to uh, mean and also uh, this particular theory uh, seeks to dissemble the meaning in the text rather than 
establish it and also we should remember literary theory may seem confusing or intimidating but it plays an important role in the study and the uh, enjoyment of the literature and also usually the literary theory allows us to understand uh, literature discuss the literature interpret the literature and evaluate and enjoy the literature and also most importantly it let us